The engines were getting irritated one night at the sheds. James was talking about how splendid he was and wouldn't stop boasting. Pride of the line, he'd say loudly to everyone. When the children see me pass, they see a bright red flash as I pull the passengers. No one wanted to say a word, so Toby spoke for them. Really now, Toby began. If you ask me, I believe when the children see you pass, they see an engine that got bested by a tram engine. Imagine a tram like me pulling you and the coaches. The other engines burst out laughing, all except James. He remembered the time he had to push Toby and pull his coaches, and the children made fun of him. He didn't fancy being reminded of it. I pushed you and the coaches. Everyone knows that. I don't know, said Thomas cheekily. Toby could pull you along the main line any day. Pa! snorted James. I'd like to see him try. He's but a weak engine. The day that happens, paint me blue. With that, James rolled back into the sheds, falling asleep. Next morning, the fat controller came to see James. You must head to the works for maintenance, he boomed. We need to check your parts to see what might need bending. But I feel fine, sir, James protested. If you are fine, he replied sternly, then the workmen will tell me, and not you. Carry along now. James rolled his eyes and puffed away. He was soon coasting down the main line. His boot was much lighter by then. Never mind, he chucked. Nothing like a nice run to stretch my wheels. run didn't last long. Steam burst from James's cab, and he slowed down to a complete stop. Oh dear, he groaned. I don't feel so well. Your safety valve is burst, called out his driver. We're going to need help to get to the works. Toby was shunting in the yards when the yard manager came to see him. James is stranded on the main line, he told Toby's driver. Do you think you could take him to the works? We can sure try, replied his driver. And away they went to find James. James was looking down at his buffers when he heard the familiar sound of a bell. Toby was backing down in front. You've got to be joking, he snapped. You can't pull me anywhere. You'll burst before you even make it halfway. Toby soon coupled up and called out. We'll see. Ready? As ready as I'll ever be, he said darkly. Toby tried to pull but his wheels began to slip. I knew it, exclaimed James. You can't even move me! But before James could say another word, he felt himself begin to move. Toby was pulling him. It was a slow journey. But Toby didn't stop. Every passing engine watched in surprise. All except Thomas, 
as he gave a suit eating grin. Eventually, they made it to the works, leaving James in awe. No words were exchanged. James was humbled, and Toby didn't have the steam to say anything as he puffed away. The next day, however, Toby was surprised to see an engine that looked like James. But he didn't have red paint, but a coat of blue. He said nothing to Toby as he passed, but all Toby could do was laugh. <laughs>